Christian Business Connection, connecting your business or ministry to the world. Good morning and welcome to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas, excited to declare that this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, 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 my friends, and be glad in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God is good and he is greatly to be praised and he's good all the time. Well, I can only tell you that we have a power pack program and I almost think I say that every week, Donna, but it's the truth. It is. I'm so excited about my guests. We have some great folks who are going to be a part of the CBC radio show this morning. And you know, we are gearing up for the upcoming Power Business Ministry and Leadership Summit. That's going to be Saturday, March 28th at Memorial Tabernacle Christian Life Center, my home church, located at 1350 South Lafayette, where the pastor, my pastor, is Reverend R.B. Peterson. We're going to have a good time there. This event is from 9 to 4. We are um, you know what? Where do I even start to tell you about this event? Let me tell you about the topics because we're going to have summit sessions, okay? And uh, I guess I first need to tell you that POWER is the acronym for Positive Overflow with Everlasting Results. That's our POWER Business Ministry and Leadership Summit. Friends, our session topics include the real definition of a leader, Christian ethics, let's get back to the basics, marketing, advertising, and social media changes now, be an excellent steward, financial accountability for your life, business, or ministry, time management that operates in success, and we're going to finish it with, you are an eagle, it's time to soar. Yes, it is. Did you hear what I said? You are an eagle, and it is time to soar. Now, this event is from 9 to 4, and the admission cost is only $5. I did not want it to be a challenge for anyone who wanted to be able to come to this Power Packed event because it's going to speak something into your life. Truly it is. And then we're going to finish off the sessions with a Power Stage concert, a gospel concert. We're going to give God some glory. All right, we're going to have a good time on Saturday, March 28th, 9 to 4 at Memorial Tabernacle Christian Life Center. Well, let me tell you, we still have some vintage spaces left. So if you would like to be a vendor at this power event, give me a call at 314-270-2225. That's 314-270-2225. We're going to be talking this morning with some folks who are vendors at the power event coming up. You're going to hear from them and they're excited too. I want to tell you this morning, we are going to be talking with Pastor Derek Perkins of Centennial Christian Church. They are celebrating today their 111th church anniversary. God is good to God be the glory for that. So he's going to talk about that. And we encourage you to go on over to 4950 Fountain Avenue to share with them their 1030 service this morning. Then we're also going to be talking with Miss Tiffany Miller of Hill St. Louis 2015. Oh yeah, she's going to have an event down at Keener Plaza on Saturday, March 21st. You want to be there, she's going to talk about that as well. And then we're going to talk this morning with Miss Mildred Robinson of Life's Celebrations by Mildred. She is truly an event planner's event planner, and she's going to talk about what God is doing in her business, and she's also going to be at the Power Business Ministry Leadership Summit. We're also going to be talking this morning with Pastor Keith Scarborough of the Word at Shaw Church. He's a blessing. He's going to be talking about the great things going on over there, including the coffee house at Shaw. And then we're going to be talking with Miss Donna Stewart of Design Inc. She has a business that's going to be a wonderful resource to any business owner, ministry leaders, organization. This woman can surely help you. Well, I can't tell it all. I mean, it's just great. It's a Another great show, and I'm blessed to be a part of it. So I want you to hold on to your seats. Don't go anywhere. When I come back, we're going to be talking with Pastor Derek Perkins of Centennial Christian Church. I'll be right back. 
Don't miss the 2015 Christian Business Connection Power Business and Ministry Leadership Summit on Saturday, March 28th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Memorial Tabernacle Christian Life Center located at 1350 South Lafayette off Dunn Road. This empowering event will include sessions for your business, ministry, organization, for your life. This event is for everyone. Admission is only $5. Vendor booths are available. Call 314-270-2225 to reserve your space. This event also includes the Power Gospel Fest celebration. Call 314-270-2225 for more info. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you we were going to be talking this morning with Pastor Derek Perkins of the Centennial Christian Church. Pastor Perkins is a blessing to the Christian Business Connection. And I want to get right to the exciting thing that's going on. So good morning, Pastor Perkins. Good morning. You know, uh, I was I was teasing you before we started and I said, you know the drill. So you know the question that I'm going to ask you, don't you? Mm -hmm. I do. You got all right. Well, uh, the question is: Is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Yes, it is, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. You got it, Pastor. I keep giving you an A on that answer. How you keep knowing the right answer? Well, I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. That's it. That's it. You know, the buzz. We're so excited about the one hundred and eleventh church anniversary. Amen. Isn't God good, Pastor? Yes, God has been good to Centennial Christian Church and good to so many of us all, all across our city. Yes, yes, Pastor. I know that we are getting ready to celebrate the anniversary. Right? Yes, we are. Indeed. And I believe it is th it's today, isn't it? On yeah. Sunday, isn't it? Uh -huh. yes. It's today. Yes. And you know what, Pastor? Uh, I have folks who listen to this broadcast who are uh, coming from a, a morning, a very early morning service. They're on their way. They're still looking for a praise and worship and Holy Ghost time. So can't they come on over? Yeah, you can always come over to Centennial <laughs> Christian Church, and we are lifting up the name of Jesus in this place. Well, tell us about the anniversary celebration, Pastor. Well, this year, Centennial Christian Church is celebrating 111 years of ministry to the St. Louis community and to our world. Uh, our theme for this service is our season of greatness and favor from 2 Corinthians when the text says, uh, 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 6, verse 2, now is the time of God's favor and now is the day of salvation. Mm. And we're going to have our service at 1030 a.m. right here at Centennial Christian Church at 4950 Fountain Avenue in the Fountain Park community. And our guest speaker will be the Reverend. And Dr. Rodney Williams, the pastor of Full Parkway United Christian Church in Kansas City, Missouri. He is a preaching preacher, and he will be here to uh, help us celebrate what God has done in our midst. Yes, yes. You know, uh, 111 years, well, if 111 days is a, <laughs> in these days and times would be an amazing feat, but God truly has blessed Centennial. Yes, he has. You know, Pastor, I believe that uh, the good leadership is one of the uh, reasons uh, why the church has stood strong and has endured the test of time. Would you agree? I would agree. It's been great leadership here at Centennial Christian Church, and I'm hoping to continue in that, that leadership so that this ministry can go on even further. Yes, yes. And I know you have several auxiliaries and several programs that uh, you have in the church. Tell us about some of those, would you, Pastor? Yeah, some of the things that we are doing, of course, is our outreach ministry, which is one of our shining ministries that help us to extend uh, the love of Jesus Christ from our doorsteps to the end of the world. Mm -hmm. We do that through our food pantry. We do that through our seasonal giving, baskets, Christmas, Thanksgiving, we do that through providing free physicals for children as they prepare to go back to school. We give away book bags and bicycles and our Juneteenth celebration that takes place in the Fountain Park community. We are always trying to figure out what way can we stand in solidarity with our neighbors. So we, we consider ourselves a church that engages outreach because we see uh, the gospel uh, not only as a way to celebrate and preach and teach and sing and shout and run and dance, but we also like to put that gospel into action. You know, that is so true because uh, if a man uh, is uh, hungry, you need to feed him and then tell him about Jesus as he's eating. Don't you agree? Amen. And we believe by feeding him, we're also showing the love of God. So they see the Jesus in us by our engagement mm -hmm. uh, with our residents and neighbors. Mm -hmm. And what's so important is that people, you know, see the love and you know, the many times that I have come to Centennial and, mm -hmm. you know, it's just amazing. Everybody just 
just reaches out. I mean, from the person you know to the person you don't know. I mean, it is really a family church, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It is. And that's one of the things we, we hope to continue to improve. And that is that the St. Louis community know that Centennial Christian Church is a place for all people, no matter who you are, where you've been, uh, what you've been through. We believe that God loves us all. You know, Pastor, you mentioned the food pantry. Um, That is, uh, I have found, even though there are many still in the St. Louis area, you know, it is is still kind of weaning out. And the need for a food pantry is so great because it just, you know, folks may have that need on uh, just every now and then, but just to know that they can come is such a blessing. Yeah, uh, during our food pantry, we also offer free coats and clothing at times. Uh, we provide physicals at times through the food pantry. Sometimes we also provide uh, medical screenings. Uh, so our food pantry is taking on new shape in this in this season of of, of our city. Mm-hmm. That we are providing a host of services through the food pantry, and we're right now exploring how to provide more hot meals uh, for the community. Whether we do it here, or whether our, our men's ministry and others mm-hmm. uh, join together in a van and go where the homeless community is to Mm -hmm. provide some meals. So we're right now trying to figure out how do we take our food pantry and our outreach ministry to the next level. Yeah, yeah. Just It really just sounds like what you're saying, Pastor. Lord, just give us more ways to serve. Yeah, and in addition to the feeding um, programs, we we also have programs for children and youth. And then we have a housing, our housing ministry, uh, which is made up of Centennial Plaza, Hilton Point One, and Hilton Point Two. That came out of our outreach efforts here at the church to develop a safe and affordable senior living uh, for seniors in this community. Amen. Amen. Pastor, tell us about your service times and the different things you have through the week. Service, uh, Sunday service starts at 1030 on Wednesday night. We have Bible study at 630 uh, from 630 to 745. Our Sunday school hour on Sunday is at 9 a.m. And during those service and learning opportunities, you can come and engage in fellowship. But yet we break open the bread of life uh, and begin to share and learn together. Yes, yes. Now, have, uh, I know that Reverend Dr. Rodney Williams is going to give a fantastic word in just a little bit, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. He he is uh, someone's preacher. He also sees the gospel from a social standpoint. He is one of those preachers that uh, at, that's at the forefront of justice issues in our city. I mean, he was part of the shutdown in Jefferson City. He, he's, he, he sees the gospel as a way to engage the whole being. And so I believe he's going to come with a healthy mix of that good Holy Ghost fire, but yet call us into action of how we might serve our present age. Amen. That's a good point. How can we serve our present age? And you know, Pastor, uh, we're friends on Facebook, and I don't say a whole lot on Facebook. I'm trying to get better. But I have uh, noticed some of your posts and how they are just uh, socially engaging and how you're always encouraging people to be a part of the action, a part of the solution. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that's important, isn't it? Yeah. If the church, the black church, we come out of a history of a great tradition, which had at its core, at its inception, uh, during the enslavement period, it had a social emphasis. Therefore, we have HBCUs. Therefore, we have all these different institutions that came out of the church. Mm-hmm. And right now, at some point, we need to make the shift in order to get back there. Not just praise and worship. That's great. But I think we need to praise and worship and work. I think we need to do that in order to transform our communities. Now, I, I just saw a T-shirt, praise, worship, and work. Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. all right right there. That's all right. Because, it, and, and and we have to be a tangible touch. Like you said, you know, um, the praise and worship, the church, but we have to come outside. We mm-hmm. have to be a tangible force, don't we? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Of course. we Praise is what we're supposed to do. We're mm-hmm. supposed to honor God, but the mm-hmm. best way I think we can honor God is according to the way Jesus said it, and that is, feed my people. Mm-hmm. You know, clothe the naked, let the captives free. We we have to put our faith into action. Mm-hmm. Amen. And Pastor, as uh, Centennial goes forward now, as we approach our 112th, 13th, 150th <laughs> church anniversary, what is the, 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 the a little bit, tell us about a, a little bit of the further vision that God has given you for the church. Well, right now I'm in conversation with uh, St. Louis Community College. I am looking at how we can provide some on 
some ongoing and sustainable programming here that can help people with uh, those who have to get back into the workforce, maybe give some computer education. Mm-hmm. Also, I'm looking at how to how to engage our young folk who are on the street, who are engaged in the risky behaviors. Can we get them into a trade or apprentice program? So maybe we can give them some skills to have a job, or maybe they can learn and then we can uh, fix up some of these abandoned buildings around us. Don't miss so the 2015 I'm, I'm Christian Business Connection Power Business and Ministry Leadership Summit on Saturday, March 28th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, at Memorial Tabernacle Christian Life Center located at 1350 yes, South Lafayette off Dunn Road. This empowering event will include pastor. sessions for your know, business, uh, ministry, area, organization, for your life. For this event is for everyone. Admission is only $5. Vendor booths are available. Call 314-270-2225 to reserve your space. This event also includes the Power Gospel Fest celebration. Call 314-270-2225 for more info. Turned into some type of transitional housing in addition to other things around Mm -hmm. the church. That's possible. I know God can do it, can he? Yeah, I believe being church in this season also includes community development. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that community development gives the residents, it gives folks pride in where they live and they want to make a better place. Yeah, yeah. Folks need hope. And the church is supposed to be a moral center uh, for communities whereby we can empower and give hope to the people. Yes. I want to let my listeners know, if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Pastor Derek Perkins of Centennial Christian Church. And this morning they are celebrating, getting ready to celebrate the 111th church anniversary. Pastor, we're just about out of time. In closing, is there anything that you'd like to say to our listeners this morning? They're they're driving from the north, south, east, and west on their way to Centennial, okay? <laughs> for, those, for those who who are looking for a place to come and worship and work to engage and help me and our congregation stand in solidarity mm-hmm. with uh, the St. Louis community, this church could use your gifts and talents. And if you just want to come have a good worship with us for our 111th church anniversary, mm-hmm. come on by. I would love to meet you and greet you. And then immediately after worship, we're going to dine together uh, with our church, and you are welcome to come and be a part of that dinner as well immediately after worship. But I would love to meet and greet you and share a little bit about who I am and what we are hoping to do and be for Jesus in our world today. Amen. Pastor, give us the address one more time, would you? Our address is 4950 Fountain Avenue, St. Louis, Missouri, 63113. You can also look us up at our on our website at www.cccstl.org or follow us on Facebook uh, as well. Amen. Thank you so much, Reverend Dr. Derek Perkins of Centennial Christian Church. Bless you, Pastor. Bless you. Thank you. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Don't miss the 2015 Christian Business Connection Power Business and Ministry Leadership Summit on Saturday, March 28th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Memorial Tabernacle Christian Life Center located at 1350 South Lafayette off Dunn Road. This empowering event will include sessions for your business, ministry, organization, for your life. This event is for everyone. Admission is only $5. Vendor booths are available. Call 314-270-2225 to reserve your space. This event also includes the Power Gospel Fest celebration. Call 314-270-2225 for more info. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas, and friends, I told you at the top of the program we were going to be talking this morning with one of our vendors who is going to be at the upcoming Power Business Ministry and Leadership Summit. I'm so excited to have her on the program. She's also one of our new members in the Christian Business Connection, so I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Miss Mildred Robinson. Good morning. Well, good morning, Evangelist Thomas. How are you today? I am wonderful. Great. Now, you know, I did not prep you on this question. I'm getting ready to ask you a question. I ask everybody who comes on the show, all right? Mm -hmm. And that is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Yes, it is. And I am rejoicing every minute of it. All right. You're glad about it? Yeah, I am truly glad. (laughs) <laughs> amen, amen. You know, I'm so excited about this upcoming Power Business and Ministry Leadership Summit. It is truly going to be a fantastic event, and your fantastic business is going to be represented there, aren't you? Yes, I am. Well, tell us about your business, Life Celebrations by Mildred. Well, my business is a business slash ministry, mm-hmm. and I have been uh, in ministry for a good many, many of years, 
and I recently retired from my secular position um, in the corporate world, and now I am um, able to be able to do my ministry slash business full-time. It is an event planning business, so what I do is, uh, as you notice, the name was Life Celebrations by Mildred. Mm -hmm. Um, My um, ministry portion of that is to enhance the celebrations that we all have in life, be it birthday, anniversary, retirement, wedding planning, anything that's a celebration, um, that's what I do. I come with a um, wealth of uh, years of experience as well as some knowledge of venues and uh, caterers and things of of that nature. But the ultimate goal is to make whatever someone is doing to be special to them, to to make sure that I cater to whatever their likes are, uh, their interests are, and what they want to get out of that event, and to do it in an economical way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, I, I have to say that not only are you an event planner, but you are an event planner's event planner. OK, uh, having uh, been privy to seeing your work um, uh, for many years, it's truly done in excellence, which is what I love. It's done in excellence. It's always creative. And it's like if you just know the theme, you just run with that thing. It's amazing, isn't it? It is. It is. God is truly uh, been gracious to me in that area to where uh, if I can visibly see it, I can mentally put it together, mm-hmm. and it's just it's just been a wonder. He he blows my mind sometimes <laughs> with some of the things that we that he comes up with because it's truly not me. <laughs> yes, and you know uh, the word that comes to mind when I think of you as a resource is you simply are an arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> you have I I. I, I to my listeners, I can't verbally express the resources that uh, Miss Mildred has. It is absolute every color, everything that's imaginable. This woman has. I've never seen anything like it. I highly endorse. If you need an event planner for your event, and like I said, she is an event planner's event planner. Now I know that sounds like what, but that's the truth, isn't it? Pretty much. I mean, people. Um will have an idea or uh, a desire to do something, but not really for sure what avenues to take or how to get that um, thing executed. So I come in and I take the ideas that they have and just enhance them. I provide um, my own uh, materials at times. Uh, I have uh, an arsenal, as you say, of of centerpieces and linens and chair covers and, and things that someone would have to go out to. Uh, rent from other uh, venues. What I do is try to make that a one-stop shop to be able to service my brides and um, my customers and and that thing. So it cuts down on their running and cuts down on expenses on their end, and they know that everything that they need is going to be there and in a timely manner. Yes, definitely in a timely manner. I, 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 I stutter <laughs> because uh, the gifts uh, uh, that God has given you and also the discernment in working with your clients is just amazing. Recently, uh, there was an event that I was at in which you were um, doing the designs and doing all of the things for that event. And it was so elegant. And not only what I like about your services, Miss Mildred, is that uh, you can do simple and elegant to just the top, over the top extravagant, can't you? Yes, yes. We do have the ability to um, go from the hot dog picnic area to <laughs> the, the ballroom with the crystal chandeliers. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Now, I want to let my listeners know that if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Miss Mildred Robinson of Life's Celebrations by Mildred. Now, uh, you are going to be a vendor at this upcoming Power Business and Ministry Leadership Summit on Saturday, March 28th. And I don't know why I'm thinking that you're not going to be just a regular booth. I I, I don't know what your booth is going to look like. Are we going to look for an event at the booth? Um, He hasn't given me that just yet, but I'm (laughs) sure that when the Lord uh, plants it in my spirit what it is that I need to present, I'm sure it would be uh, over the top uh, (laughs) because he's just that kind of God. He, He does things over the top, and he's allowed me to be able to do that. But I will be bringing in... Uh, of course, pictures and and, and photographs mm-hmm. of some of my past um, 
events and venues that I work with, Mm -hmm. as well as bringing in uh, physical um, decoration pieces and things for people to actually get the, um, you know, hands-on look. Uh, with it, as well as um, uh, whatever information that I can provide someone to even assist mm-hmm. with something that they may even have in plan. Yes, yes. Now, I know that um, uh, your life celebrations, you have a really a plethora. So your resources include not only um, the things that you do, but you also have photographers, you have caterers. You are truly full service, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Correct. I do have... Um, uh, others that are are have partnered up with me, and I have uh, resources as far as photographers, uh, seamstress, caterers, mm-hmm. limo drivers. Um, mm-hmm. All of these um, lovely people have been a part of uh, life celebrations and and just partner with me in, in events and have been able to assist me mm-hmm. as well as my clients over the years. And it's just again, it's a one stop shop. So it really <laughs> has been. Um, very, very helpful when the bride buys that dress, you know, rather than spending that um, extra monies at the bridal shop and not to kick down the bridal shops. But we have capable seamstress that will be able to do it again at a lower price than what they uh, have. The the reason that I even got into business is that I've I've set at so many weddings and helped at so many mm-hmm. events, and I saw the cost that people were putting into a one-day event, mm-hmm. especially weddings. It's like you you, you got to pay rent after this, you know, <laughs> so you don't really need to spend all this money on the one day. Mm-hmm. So that was that was kind of a motivation to be able to, to come in and show how you still can have elegance, you still can have beauty, you can still have the dream of your day, mm-hmm. but you just don't have to take a loan out to get it, get it done. Amen, amen. Now, now tell us, how can folks get in contact with you? They're, I know there are brides right now, there are events coming up all the time, and they may need some help. Okay. I can be contacted. I'm here local in St. Louis. My area code number is 314-524-2558. And if someone wants to reach me, I can be registered at that number and I'll leave a message and I will surely get back with you at, at my earliest convenience. Give us that phone number one more time, would you? Again, area code 314-524-2558. And also, they can go to the CBC website of thecbcradioshow.com, and you can also get more information on Life's Reflections by Mildred. Is there anything else in closing that you'd like to say to our audience this morning? Again, the, the, the name of the business is Life Celebrations by Mildred. It's the only wants to give me reflections, but maybe it's going to be Life Reflections <laughs> Celebrations by Mildred. <laughs> but it is Life Celebrations by Mildred, and I can be reached on, on Facebook as, as well under that name, Life Celebrations by Mildred. Amen. Thank you so much. God, he's a patient God, isn't he? He is. <laughs> he is. Bless you, my friend. Thank you for being a part of the CBC Radio Show this morning. Thank you, Miss Nana. All righty, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Don't miss the 2015 Christian Business Connection Power Business and Ministry Leadership Summit on Saturday, March 28th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Memorial Tabernacle Christian Life Center located at 1350 South Lafayette off Dunn Road. This empowering event will include sessions for your business, ministry, organization, for your life. This event is for everyone. Admission is only $5.00. Vendor booths are available. Call 314-270-2225 to reserve your space. This event also includes the Power Gospel Fest celebration. Call 314-270-2225 for more info. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program, I was so excited this morning because we're going to be speaking with Pastor Keith Scarborough, the pastor of The Word at Shaw. I'm so excited about the things that we're going to talk about this morning that I believe are going to be a blessing to you. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Pastor Keith. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Oh, you're welcome. Now, Pastor, I didn't prep you on this question. It's something that I ask everybody who comes on the show. And that is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Oh, man. God is doing great things uh, in our city. And uh, I'm just so happy that God has allowed me to be a part of it. 
And so every morning I wake up with just this awe and wonder of, <laughs> you know, God, what, look what you're doing, and, and thanks for letting me have a front row seat to get to watch what's going on. Amen. Amen. That's a good answer, Pastor. I tell you, you know, it's. I often say that it's just so amazing that he uses decorated dust like us. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Well, Pastor, uh, God is doing some amazing things through your ministry at the church. What I love about the word at Shaw, you have an expression uh, on your printed materials that you say it's a different kind of church. Tell us why, Pastor. Well, uh, we don't do things like most any other place does, and I think more that that may be more a reflection of uh, of the people who live in our community mm-hmm. uh, than than anything else. But we kind of came to be, uh, you know, St. Louis, and and to look like the people who are walking around us. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, you know, Dr. King said that the the most segregated hour in America was 11 a.m on Sunday morning, and uh, our Sunday morning is extremely diverse. Mm-hmm. Uh, as you know, mm-hmm. um, our, our staff is uh, both African-American and white, and our congregation is about 50-50, mm-hmm. and so that's an unusual uh, place just to begin with. Mm-hmm. But then on top of that, you know, I don't wear robes. I don't. I, I ever, whenever I wear a tie, I get criticized <laughs> openly, and, uh, um, you know, we don't do things that are uh, ritualistic. It's a it's a fun and casual place, and uh, it's just a place where we can celebrate what God is doing uh, in our lives and through our lives and into our community. Well, I do have to uh, amen that, Pastor, because my first time coming to the church, uh, you really could just feel a just a spirit of peace and love. I mean, it was really greeting you as you walked in the door, and, and only God can do that. Isn't that right? That's right. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Yeah. Tell us about the service times uh, for the different things you have at the church, Pastor. Yeah. Well, we we start our our service in the worship center at 11 a.m., but we open uh, before that. You know, uh, evangelists, when we... um, when we set out to do something in a multicultural way, then we we recognized instantly that we needed to create um, environments that would allow people just to sit and talk. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you know, we do very little talk about race relations. We always just say, um, let's get closer to Jesus. The closer we get mm-hmm. to Jesus, the closer we'll be to each other. Mm-hmm. And uh, part of that uh, breaks down into, you know, environments that allow people to have holy conversations. Mm -hmm. And uh, we invite people to come early. We have a coffee house uh, here. Uh, We actually, when we planted the church, this is our fifth um, March. Mm -hmm. And so uh, when we planted the church, we actually moved into an old United Methodist building. And so one of the first things that we did after we finished the sanctuary was uh, we ripped out three classrooms and created a coffee house. Uh, because we believe that coffee house environments are better than classrooms, at least for the neighborhood that we're trying to to, to connect to. Mm-hmm. And so we ha- we open up our coffee house, and people come in, they check their emails, they sit around and drink Hartford Coffee Company coffee, and uh, just kind of relax into the morning. And that opens at ten thirty. So we spend a good thirty minutes before you know, kind of getting caffeined up before we go in and work. <laughs> Well, Pastor, I'm so glad you mentioned the coffee house at Shaw because that was my introduction to the church, to the ministry. And I'm so excited to be a part of uh, what God is doing with the coffee house and bringing new business and bringing, you know, people to be aware of the coffee house at Shaw. Yeah, it's a great place. It's turned out to be more than a Sunday morning uh, collect a place where people can gather. Um, we do things uh, for the community here all the time. Uh, we have an AA meeting that meets every Wednesday night here, and it's a great group. More than fifty people, usually you know more like a hundred folks, gather there, and uh, and it's open to our community. Uh, but beyond that, we we have community parties like seed exchanges and uh, holiday dances there. Uh, and then, uh, you know, we in in the midst of all of the trials that our city has been going through, we've been hosting uh, uh, 
what we're just calling the conversation, and it's just pe- neighbors mm-hmm. coming in. Mm-hmm. And so most of the people who come to those, and we've had up to 100 of those, I think, we're, I think we've done eight of them already. Um, most of the people who come there do not attend the church. A good faction do, but most of them don't. Mm-hmm. But we wanted to be open to the community and be doing things for, you know, for our community, a place where people can gather and, uh, and meet each other, because we find that is a, you know, that's a value of ours. And so uh, last Friday we had uh, we hosted a uh, a spoken word night, and uh, I know you were there, but uh, mm-hmm. that was with our friends with Faith Communities, mm-hmm. and it was a fundraiser for our uh, for AIDS community. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I know we have a, a a comedy night coming. I'm really excited about that. Yes. You're- yeah, you're bringing that in, and then uh, and then some other some other jazz nights, and just ways that people can come together and good clean entertainment, yes. spend the time together, and uh, and you know it doesn't. Uh, I don't. Uh, this is not meant to insult. It just doesn't feel like church, you know. <laughs> it's really nice, kind of vibey place where yes. people can connect, and you know Jesus acted in those places all the time, more yes. than in church setting. Yeah, and so that's where we feel like He's still working that way here. Yes, He is. Well, I want to let my listeners know that if you're just tuning in this morning, we're talking with Pastor Keith Scarborough, the pastor at the Word at Shaw Church. Now, Pastor, I I, I know folks are are listening and they're like, well, how can we get connected? Tell us how we can get connected to the Word at Shaw. Right. We are, well, first off, our website's fairly easy. It's the name of our church, the Word at Shaw. Mm -hmm. Everything's spelled out, smushed Mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. Uh, That's a dot org address. And um, all of our events, all of our calendar, everything that we do there is there. Um, we have served, by the way, we're located right across the street from the Botanical Garden. Most people know where we're at. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're on the corner of Tower Grove and Shaw. That's the reason why, for the name. Uh, but right across from the Missouri Botanical Garden. Uh, we have uh, uh, mission projects all the time. We actually run a, uh, a furniture showroom. Um, store. Uh, it's for the Shalom House, which is a uh, homeless shelter just about a mile away from our location here uh, for uh, ladies. And so ladies go through their program. By the way, they have a 97% success rate. When they go through Shalom House, uh, they are no longer homeless. Uh, our little church in only, our, in only four years has helped 45 ladies leave the shelter, come off the street, into the shelter, off the shelter, out of the shelter, into their own furnished apartment, and we're, oh. the, we're the folks who do the furnishings. And so we uh, collect furniture, clean furniture, repair furniture, pack furniture, load furniture, and then <laughs> set up apartments uh, for them. And so you can help with that. You can help us with our work with Shalom House. Uh, on Thursdays, we have a program we call SNAP, which is an after-school Shaw neighborhood after-school program uh, for kids uh, under 16, 10 to 16 years old. And uh, that's a, there's plenty of opportunities to serve there. And then, of course, on Sunday morning, just come. And, you know, we, we say some people like to come and jump in and, and become members and, like, you know, start to serve and, and, and do all those things. But we also leave plenty of room just to sit and listen, just mm-hmm. come in and kind of check it out. And, uh, you know, Jesus always said, come and see, come and see, come and see. Mm-hmm. And uh, so we, we leave plenty of room for that. So, you know, if you or friends of yours uh, don't have a church, and uh, and are a little skeptical of church, that's kind of who we want to meet. We want to meet people like that so they can come in, relax, see the environment, and then start to be filled with the Spirit of God. Well, I, I definitely felt like I was at home. I felt like I've already been grafted in, and uh, you're going to look up, Pastor, and see me walking through the door just to come and, and, uh, and, and sup with you uh, every that's now good. and then. Would that be all right? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. Wonderful. Well, Pastor, we're just about out of time. And uh, give us the address again uh, for the word at Shaw. Sure. It's 4265 Shaw. And uh, it's on the corner of Tower Grove and Shaw, right across from the Missouri Botanical Garden. And uh, it's it's an older uh, United Methodist Church building. uh, But uh, when you step inside, you'll see what all our volunteers have been doing to refurbish it and make it all brand new. Amen. Is there anything else that you'd like to say in closing, Pastor Keith? Hey, I'd just love to say God bless you to everybody who is listening. Um, I know that our city has national attention right now, and uh, that's okay because God is doing great things. And God, our God, the God we serve, is one who can take horrible things 
such as the things we're going through right now and turn them into good. And uh, I know that's going to happen for our city. And as I've said, I'm so thrilled that God has allowed us to be a part of it and have a front row seat to watch how he's at work in our city. Amen. Me too, Pastor. Bless you. You are a joy, Pastor Keith. Thank you so much for being a part of the CBC radio show today. God bless you. All righty. Friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Don't miss the 2015 Christian Business Connection Power Business and Ministry Leadership Summit on Saturday, March 28th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Memorial Tabernacle Christian Life Center located at 1350 South Lafayette off Dunn Road. This empowering event will include sessions for your business, ministry, organization, for your life. This event is for everyone. Admission is only $5. Vendor booths are available. Call 314-270-2225 to reserve your space. This event also includes the Power Gospel Fest celebration. Call 314-270-2225 for more info. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program, we were going to be talking this morning with Mrs. Donna Stewart of Design, Inc. She's going to be one of the vendors at the upcoming Power Business Ministry and Leadership Summit, and she's also a new member of the Christian Business Connection. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Mrs. Donna Stewart. Good morning. Good morning, Evangelist Donna. You know, I didn't prep you on this question, but I ask everybody who comes on the show, and that is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? It is, and I am rejoicing, and I'm glad in it. All right. All right. I got a gold star for you. You did good. (laughs) You know, uh, you have a business, a service, and and because of the great need, I almost want to call it a ministry (laughs) for so many businesses and organizations. Tell us, let's get right to us. Tell us about Design, Inc. Okay. Design, Inc. is a Christian home-based virtual assistant business. And what we do here is that we provide high-quality and professional on-call office support for small businesses, churches, nonprofit organizations, and private clients. And we conduct our businesses seven days a week um, and in evening hours included in that. You know, I I like that. I'm going to pause you right there. You said seven days a week and evening hours, because uh, if I have any entrepreneurs or small business owners that are listening, nonprofits, this thing can go on 24 hours sometimes. Absolutely. (laughs) And it's a blessing to know that there is a service there that can accommodate that. Now, I know you also have a virtual assistant business as well. Tell us how that service works in there. Okay, virtual assistants are basically independent contractors, and what we do is we provide um, professional, administrative, technical, and creative assistance to clients remotely, and my office is from my home, Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. we provide this service in the areas of desktop publishing, administrative or clerical support, and notary service. Now, that's a good thing because uh, that's needed. Now, are are you a mobile notary service by chance? Oh, absolutely. I do have a mobile notary service. I will travel to your business or home or any location that you prefer, um, even evening and weekend hours for a nominal fee. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, you have a whole laundry list of services that you provide, and I want to zero in on one that I think is a great fundraising opportunity for nonprofits uh, that are listening right now, individuals, and that is your uh, fundraising for souvenir booklets. Tell us about that, would you? Oh, sure. I'd be happy to. Um, Yes, if you would like to commemorate your church anniversary, pastor's anniversary, uh, even a business program or promotion, um, send me your ads. I will organize your ads, do the layout and typesetting and uniquely design your souvenir or ad journal for your business. Now, I know some folks didn't stop right there. Don't I hope you didn't you, you we didn't cause no accidents or nothing for folks driving because that's some shouting news right there. Because I know I have seen, you know, souvenir booklets. I've seen folks who have the vision for it, but they don't know how to do it. That you know, it's it's it could be cumbersome or complicated, but you take that away, don't you? Oh, absolutely. And it's all about the planning and organization, which is what Design Inc. specializes in. Mm -hmm. Um, We have a timeline that we would give all of our clients of when 
Um, our um, camera ready ads needs to be in. Mm-hmm. Any other specifics about your ads? We were uniquely designed to fit your taste. And of course, you know, as I mentioned, we will give you a timeline mm-hmm, mm-hmm. on when those ads and pictures and photos need to be in. And um, we go to work for you. That's it. You go to work for us. I know that is an amazing fundraising opportunity. And I believe more nonprofits, more uh, businesses would do it if they thought they could have it would look professional in the end. It would be done with excellence. And I know you would do that, wouldn't you? Oh, absolutely. As a matter of fact, um, one of our clients who I've done um, a souvenir ad journal for um, gave a testimony. And if I can just give me just two seconds to pull that up. Sure, sure. Um, I was just quite surprised at um, what she had to say. Mm-hmm, <clears throat> mm-hmm. Well, not quite surprised, but at the content of what she said, it was just more than what I had expected. Yes, yes. But in, when doing um, souvenir booklets for Dr. Kara Mary, she did say that... Um, she um, appreciated the work and that I was very professional. Um, let me go back, start over. She said that Design Eat provided her a first-class business and professional service and that the services that I provided her were top-notch and that I designed and professionally printed their souvenir ad journal, not just only for their um, church bulletins and their Easter drama programs, but also for her uh, optometry organization that she was president of. Wow. Wow. Isn't it a blessing when you get a testimony, when a uh, well-satisfied client comes back and tells you and is willing to tell the world about it? Oh, absolutely. And it even surprises me sometimes because, as I mentioned earlier, you know, God equipped me with the skills and the creativity to do the things that I do. Mm -hmm. So when I see the final product, you know, I'm like, wow, Lord, did I really do that? (laughs) And, you know, and he goes, yeah. But she does go on to say that um, my prices, you know, that I am affordable. Mm -hmm. And as I mentioned earlier, um, it is professionally done. Yes, yes, yes. And I, one thing I also like about your business is that you have a list of clients, well-satisfied clients that you would or that you clearly advertise and you would um, be more than happy to uh, have them talk to uh, your new customers, talk to them about your services that you perform for them, because really it's just further testifying, isn't it? Absolutely. Now, I know that Design Inc. will <laughs> – now, this is the part I like. Now, uh, I, I'll i tell you, I type about 120 words a minute, but I hate to type, okay? Can't stand it, but I can. But for those of us who may be like me – see, I just I just admitted it, okay, that I have a, I have a skill, but I don't like to, to use it <laughs> the way I probably need to do it. So you can come in and help that small business owner – You can help that ministry. You can perform those clerical and administrative tasks, can you? You know what? That is what's so unique about Design Inc. Because we love to do the administrative clerical part um, of the business function for our clients. Mm -hmm. Because it frees them up from those routine clerical functions that they have to, you know, do every day Mm -hmm. and allows them to concentrate in other areas of running their business. Yes, yes. So, yes, we will do your typing for you. We will do your um, PowerPoint presentations for you. Mm -hmm. We will even send out your mailings, your correspondence and your mailings for you. My goodness, my goodness. You do. Is there anything that you don't do? No, don't answer that. Don't answer that. Okay. <laughs> but one of the things that I really liked in, in regards to nonprofits, you know, it can be very cumbersome putting together those annual reports. And that's something that in, is in your expertise as well, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Um, we pride ourselves on um, getting information, all the information needed from the client, um, setting up a format that's um, – adequate for what they need to make their presentations on. Mm-hmm. And we just, like I said earlier, we go to work for them. And we proofread all of our work 100%. We make sure that everything is error-free. Mm-hmm. And we just um, take that that function of their doing their business, we take that from them and handle it ourselves and do that for them. I 
absolutely love it because anything that can be a resource tool that can be a benefit uh, to the entrepreneur, the small business owner, the nonprofit individuals, it's a great, great, great benefit. Now, I want to let our listeners know that we're talking this morning with Mrs. Donna Stewart of Design Inc. And we're just about out of time, Donna. Give us your contact information. I know there are many people who are listening, organizations, that souvenir booklet fundraising thing is just, um, I know your lines are going to burn up in the name of Jesus. So how can we reach you? Okay, I can be reached uh, by email at Stewart, S-T-E-W-A-R-T, D as in Donna, 26, at gmail.com. Or you can call me at 314-384-9744. Give us that number one more time, would you? 314-384-9744. Wonderful. I want to, again, thank you for being a new member in the Christian Business Connection. And we're going to see you at the Power Business Ministry and Leadership Summit, aren't we? Absolutely. And again, um, Evangelist Nona, I would like to thank you for giving me this opportunity to present Designing to the World. Amen. 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 Well, thank you again, my friend. And we will see you at the Power Summit. See you then. God bless. All right, friends. We're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Don't miss the 2015 Christian Business Connection Power Business and Ministry Leadership Summit on Saturday, March 28th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Memorial Tabernacle Christian Life Center located at 1350 South Lafayette off Dunn Road. This empowering event will include sessions for your business, ministry, organization, for your life. This event is for everyone. Admission is only $5. Vendor booths are available. Call 314-270-2225 to reserve your space. This event also includes the Power Gospel Fest celebration. Call 314-270-2225 for more info. Welcome back to the CBC Radio Show. I'm your host, Evangelist Nona Thomas. And friends, I told you at the top of the program that we were going to be so excited this morning because we're going to talk about HEAL 2015. Now, we've got some great information to tell you. We're blessed to have the founder of HEAL 2015 on our program this morning. So I want to welcome to the CBC Radio Show, Mrs. Tiffany Mills. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you all? I am fantastic. And, you know, I didn't prompt you on the question I'm getting ready to ask. Okay. But that question is, is this the day that the Lord has made for you? Yes, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. That's it. You, 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 you're right. You got an A. You did right. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, ma'am. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. Mm -hmm. Well, Mm -hmm. Miss Tiffany, I tell you, uh, God is so good, and we're so excited about the upcoming Heal 2015 on Saturday, March 21st. Let's get right to it. Tell us how God gave you the vision for this event. Um, Actually, it was back in 2007, and the Lord gave me a dream about um, a worship explosion is what he called it. It was using all of the creative arts, um, dancers, singers, painters, um, drama teams, um, culinary artists, and they were using their gifts um, as worship back to him. Mm -hmm. Um, And he said there was healing in worship, and the arts already have such a therapeutic benefit just by themselves. Mm -hmm. But with the combination of that in addition to worship, it, it, it's just going to be so powerful. Yes. And then in addition to that, to have the five-fold ministry go forth in unity together, mm-hmm. um, I think that that is what the city needs at this time. It's, I believe the Lord strategically uh, chose this date because he knew what was going to happen before we even knew. Yeah, yeah, because he is God, (laughs) because he is God. And, you know, um, tell us, what does H-E-A-L, HEAL, what does that, uh, what is that acronym? What does that stand for? It stands for Helping Everyone Accept Love. Mm. So with the worship portion, we will see the Lord working on people and breaking bondages off of them. Mm -hmm. Um, With the word going forth with the five ministry, we will see the uprooting 
of things that were planted on those grounds mm -hmm. downtown uh, by the arch, by the old courthouse, mm -hmm. by the jailhouse. Mm -hmm. And then we are to also be love in action, and, and we will be giving away care packages to the homeless. We will also be giving food away to the homeless and the attendants as long as food is available. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, this is going to be this coming Saturday, March 21st. This is an outdoor event at Keener Plaza downtown, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. And it will be from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. You've got now, now you've said something. Of course, you said the uh, the singers and the praise dancers, musicians, artists. But tell us about those culinary artists. You know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm kind of, a, you know, old school. So that's a new term. <laughs> tell me about that. <laughs> well, there are culinary artists that will take a watermelon and make it look like a lion <laughs> or take a, a pineapple and make it look like an exotic bird or something. So we have um, an artist who that is her forte, and um, she does vegetable and fruit carvings and makes them into fantastic um, art pieces. Wow, wow. You know, you, you just said art pieces. So does that mean that they're so beautiful that we can't eat them? Because it sounds like, you know, we might no, not want to touch it. <laughs> I, that, that would, I'm going to leave that up to her, but I, I think she wants to let everyone see them first. And then uh, <laughs> if that's what her will is after that, then she could go for it. Amen. Now, this is a multicultural event, totally free and open to the public, isn't it? Yes. Um, that was one thing is that it, it was to be an offering. It was supposed to be mm -hmm. no uh, charge and there was supposed to be no charge for the food. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You know, this is truly a large undertaking and you can say that it is truly God doing it, isn't it? Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Uh, you know, he's just looking for people to say yes. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to have a large church. You don't have to have a large title behind mm -hmm. your name. Mm -hmm. um, all he's looking for is a yes and obedience to stay the course. And then he takes care of the rest. Mm -hmm. um, there's no way that um, this could have been done. Uh, I think we started the beginning of January. Mm -hmm. And to bring it forth on this platform, it was it was all him going forth and uh, creating the connections and uh, making um, the pathways and uh, giving us favor in different situations. So, yes, this is definitely something he wanted to do. This is something that uh, will be a... Uh, a spiritual smackdown mm -hmm. is what he called it. <laughs> I love that. I love that. A beatdown, a smackdown. A beatdown. Yeah. So uh, he said he wanted to do it suddenly. And mm -hmm. so he gets all the glory and all the praise as far as I'm concerned because this is his his thing. Amen. Bless him. I want to let my listeners know that if you're just tuning in right now, we're talking this morning with Mrs. Tiffany Mills, the founder of Heal 2015. Now, Miss Tiffany, uh, we're just about out of time, but uh, I, I believe that it's still, uh, you still may be in need of some donations. We may have organizations or individuals who are listening. Are you willing to still take uh, donations at this point? Yes, ma'am. Um, they can go to www.heal215.org, mm -hmm. and there is a PayPal link there if they would like to make um, monetary donations at this point. Praise God, because uh, I, I believe that every penny, every dollar, all will add up together, and God's going to multiply it, isn't he? Yes. I just was reading about the fish and the loaves this morning and said, okay, Lord. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He'll do it. He'll do it. Well, yes, I, I, I just I, I thank God for you. And I just speak continued blessings into your ministry and to your efforts, because so much is going to spring forward from Heal 2015. Thank you so much for being a part of our radio program this morning. And thank you for having me. You're welcome. All right, friends, we're going to take a short break right here. Stay with me. I'll be right back.
Don't miss the 2015 Christian Business Connection Power Business and Ministry Leadership Summit on Saturday, March 28th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at Memorial Tabernacle Christian Life Center located at 1350 South Lafayette off Dunn Road. This empowering event will include sessions for your business, ministry, organization, for your life. This event is for everyone. Admission is only $5. Vendor booths are available. Call 314-270-2225 to reserve your space. This event also includes the Power Gospel Fest celebration. Call 314-270-2225 for more info. Well, friends, didn't we have a power pack show? I told you at the top of the program it was going to be great, and we give God the glory that it was. I want to thank all of my guests, each one truly and uniquely gifted in the thing that the Lord has given them to do. Thank you all so much. I encourage you to go to my website of thecbcradioshow.com, and you will see information on all of my guests who were on the program today. I just, I love him. I just love God. He always puts it together and does it in excellence. I want to encourage you to go to the website so you can get more information about the upcoming Power Business Ministry and Leadership Summit. Remember, Power is the acronym for Positive Overflow with Everlasting Results. That's what we believe the summit session topics are going to speak into your life. Our topics, again, include the real definition of a leader, Christian ethics, let's get back to the basics, marketing, advertising, and social media changes now. Be an excellent steward. Financial accountability for your life, business, or ministry. Time management that operates in success. And you are an eagle. It's time to soar. Also, we'll have our Power Gospel Stage concert as a part of that as well. That's going to be 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Saturday, March 28th at Memorial Tabernacle Christian Life Center, 1350 South Lafayette in Florissant, Missouri. I want to say to God be the glory for that. If you're a vendor, we encourage you to call the numbers 314-270-2225. 2702225 to get more information. The Power Business Ministry and Leadership Summit. I will see you there. As always in closing, to God be the glory. Christian Business Connection. Connecting your business or ministry to the world.